Hey everyone, welcome to another OSAP analysis. Today we're going to take a look at Bruno Malfacini here on bottom in the blue gi. This is from the 2014 World Championships. He's up against Brandon Mullins. And here he is setting up his grips for his butterfly attack. You see that right arm reaching over top to try to grab that belt. And then here he goes for the sweep. He's able to come on top and right into side mount. So let's rewind real quick. And take a look at some of the details. So the first thing that happens is he's in close guard and he's going to try to get his right foot on the hip here. And then Brandon is going to step over it with his left leg. And then the second that happens, Bruno opts to play both uh, shins in for butterfly guard instead of being in a more vulnerable position with this left leg behind the back. Because if Brandon gets past this uh, foot here, this left leg is completely out of play and he'll start to pass around to this side. The next thing Bruno does is the second he gets this left butterfly hook in, you see his left hand is going to switch for a grip on Brandon's knee. The next grip transition that's going to happen is right here he's going to sit up onto that elbow while the hand is still grabbing the knee. And with his right hand he's trying to get the, the back of Brandon's belt. Once he gets that belt grip, it seems like Brandon's really locked in. He can't disengage away even if he wants to. And Bruno has the grips that he needs for his sweep. So here he's going to fall back, drive off his left foot, and knock Brandon over. So he's dropping to the back here. And if you pay attention to his left foot, you see it drives into the mat to create all the power. The left leg is going to stay in right here at the upper thigh hip area, to uh, like a butterfly hook, to try to lift Brandon's left hip. And if we follow this foot also, you'll see he's going to do a little hop to follow him. So right there is a hop to keep going with Brandon. Again, this hook is staying in here. Now normally, we'd be a little bit worried because he's not controlling Brandon's right hand. And a lot of times, in like the standard butterfly guard hook sweep, you need to control that hand to do your sweep. But here you see Brandon will be able to post that hand out, and he's still going to go over. And the reason for this, I think, is the grip at this knee is just a little bit too strong for him to deal with it. Normally, what you try to do when you get swept with the butterfly hook is you want to, at the very least, even your hips out so they're parallel to the mat, or even better, to have the one that's being uh, hooked to drop that hip down low. So normally, he wants to drop this hip down, and in order to help that, usually people post this foot out. Now because Bruno's controlling this knee, one, it's very tough for Brandon to post that foot out. And two, even if he didn't, you see he can't level out his hips. Simply because when Bruno pulls on this leg, sorry, on this grip by the knee, it's going to pull this hip down too. So even though Brandon tries to do a really good job of staying up here, like he doesn't go down easily. You see he lands his knee, but Malfacini does a really good job of following on his left foot, keeping this hook tight. And he just falls him right over top and into side mount. So let's watch it one more time. I'm going to slow it down even more. So again, you have the grip at the knee, grip behind the belt. It's going to start driving back off his left foot. Watch that left foot hop in a second here. Okay, it's a little bit too slow. All right, there we go. There, hops with it, keeps control of that knee. And the other thing you want to notice is as he goes here, so once his back goes to the mat, he's going to be rolling over this shoulder. There, shoulder rolls, so they can keep flying with that hook. Last time, regular speed. Here's the grips, the drive, and the finish. I hope you guys like this analysis. For more, please follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.